So what if you don't have a before and after story yet? A story of transformation because you just started. Maybe you haven't even gotten your, st your stuff in the mail. So what are you supposed to talk about on your timeline? Here's what I did and here's what other coaches have done that have done really well. The idea is you bring people with you on the journey from the beginning. You can share other people's stories and brag about what other people have done, but what I found to be most successful for me is like, for example, um, the first time I tried Shakeology, I didn't get any results yet, but I really liked the flavor, so I talked about that. Man, I really love the way this chocolate Shakeology tastes. It's like a chocolate orgasm. That's what I call it. I've been calling it that way since day one. So I would talk about it that way. Or like when I got my P90X program, it wasn't even in the mail yet. It's like I would just say, whew, taking a deep breath, I'm about to get started. I just got the intense P90X program. I can't wait to see how much fitter and stronger I'm going to be on day 15 of the program. I can't wait to see how much more energy I'm going to have. I can't wait to be able to finally push more weights than my girlfriend. At that time, I had a girlfriend. You know, I would, I would envision things. If you don't even have your stuff in the mail yet, you have to project out into the future and say, man, I can't wait to see how much better I'm going to feel just 10 days, 15 days into it, how much weight I'll have lost, how much ener more energy I'll have to be able to play with my kids. You know, you want to cast that vision out there and put that out there on your social media, your Facebook timeline or whatever. And you got to do it in a way that you're kind of vulnerable. Otherwise, you're just going to look like you're selling something, that you're pitching something to make money. Got to be a human being. Got to be yourself. Remember those two questions you have to ask yourself before you click post or share after you created it is one, does this look salesy? No. Question two, does this sound like me, the true me? Yes. Okay, so it's not salesy, it's genuinely me, it's good, it's going. So think about that. And then as you get results, you share that too. So like, when I was able to break past doing 20 push-ups or whatever, I posted, I was like, wow, I've only been doing this a couple weeks, I broke past the plateau, or whatever it was. So as you lose your first couple pounds, your first 10 pounds, you got whatever it is, you're moving more weight, you're more flexible, you're feeling better, your inflammation is down, your aches and pains are, are down, maybe you safely came off of a medication with your doctor's approval, maybe you still got a long way to go, but those little bitty victories along the way, you share that stuff, you share what it was like before that. It's like, wow, before I started this, I was this way. And just a, a couple weeks or whatever it is, I feel this way. What a difference. This is so cool. So that's what you do if you don't have a before and after, you know, your initial transformation. You got to take people with you on the journey. Be vulnerable. Don't be salesy. Be your real self. And just be honest with people. And learn to embrace celebrating the little victories and really learn how to cast a vision out there that you're going to put out there for other people. It's also like with the business, you may not have a paycheck yet because just, you just started. Or maybe you've been doing it for a while, but you just haven't um, been you know, taking, not doing what you know you're supposed to be doing. Project into the future, you say something like, I did this once a long time ago. I said, man, I cannot wait to be free so I can fire my boss. And then that's like interest, curiosity peaking. It peaks like, what are you talking about, Tom? What are you, what are you doing that you're going to be able to fire your boss? And then I can get that conversation going and I would immediately plug into the invitation processes. So the same thing can work with like the business aspect of it as well as the health aspect of it. And you don't need your transformation yet. You need to bring people with you. In fact, in some ways, it's actually more valuable to be working the business before you have your transformation because that way you can invite people to bring them along with you as you're doing it yourself initially, it's like, come with me, we're both a mess right now, maybe physically, financially, whatever the case is, and invite them to do it with you. And if you can post a picture of what you look like right now, or whatever's going on right now, do that, but cast that vision as you're posting that messy picture of where you're at right now in a kind of a mess of your life or some place that you're not very happy, whatever it is post that, but at the same time, cast that vision for, man, I can't wait to see what life is going to be like a year from now, or 10 days after I first start, you know, stuff like that. And inject some humor in there too whenever you can, because people like to laugh. So that's what you do when you share your before and after, but you don't have a before and after yet. Or maybe you haven't even started yet because it hasn't come in the mail yet, then you got to project that vision, right? Like I gave you that example earlier in this video. Lots of ideas. Be creative, have fun, don't be salesy, be you, 
and you're gonna make this fun and an enjoyable process that you'll bring people with you, okay? I got lots more social media training on my website at fireyourboss.xyz, not .com, .xyz, .xyz, fireyourboss.xyz. Let's do this together. We rise by lifting others up. You bring people with you, that is certainly rising by lifting others up.